use dash to measure distance. We can code dash to work just like a trundle wheel. I'm going to use the Dash Blockly app for this. Firstly, make sure your Dash is connected to your device. You will need to go to My Projects and select a new blank project and press Create. Now, when I press start, I want dash to travel forward one metre. I will find the block I need in the drive category. I want the one that moves forward. I need to attach it to the when start block. These measurements are in centimetres, so I want dash to travel forward 100 centimetres. You can adjust your speed however you like. What I need to do next is set up a counter. To do this, I'm going to use a variable. What I'd like Dash to do is add one to a counter each time he travels forward one meter. First, I need to make sure my counter or variable is set at zero before Dash starts moving. Then, after he moves forward a meter, I want him to add one meter to my count. Now I'd like Dash to repeat this for the entire length of the distance I'm measuring. I'll need this repeat until handle wrapped around these two blocks. And I'd like him to repeat this until there is an obstacle in front, like a wall. If there isn't a wall in the space you are measuring, you may need to place a cone at the end of the line Dash is measuring and use this as your obstacle. I'm going to get Dash to measure the length of this hallway. You can see that when I press play or start, the counter in the top left hand corner of the screen is set at zero. Dash moves forward one metre and one is added to the counter. He moves forward another metre and another one is added to the counter and so on. You can see what code Dash is reading by looking at the green play button inside of the code. Once he hits an obstacle, he stops and your code is complete. Feel free to get creative with your code by adding sounds or lights as he counts. Once you've mastered measuring length, you could turn this into a perimeter or area activity. Bonus points for anyone who can calculate the perimeter or area of a shape using code. I wonder if you could also find a way to measure length more precisely using increments that are smaller than one metre. Good luck and have fun.